you're already familiar with log form. So if I have log of 100, you understand the base to be 10. So that's log base 10, 100. And the answer to that is 2. Because in exponential form, you realize that's 10 to the 2 equals 100. Now there's an inverse log form, which is like this. Inverse log, log to the negative 1, think of it that way, of 2 equals 100. So notice how I'm inverting some of the numbers here. Rather than putting the base, just like I don't write a base for log if it's understood as 10, I just write log 100 equals 2. Here I'm going to write inverse log of 2 equals 100. I'm just reversing the order here. So in another example, if I have log x equals 3, exponential, again we assume base 10, so that's 10 cubed equals x. The inverse log form will look like this. Inverse log of 3 equals x. Last example, if I have log 4 equals z in exponential form, that will be 10 to the z equals 4. In inverse form, I'm just going to reverse the order here. So inverse log of z equals 4.